Uh, I'm going to take the block, or you can take a rolled up blanket, and just put it behind me in the chair. Um, now, some of you may not need this, but some of you might like just to have that little bit of support so that sitting up away from the chair is um, more comfortable, more available to you. You don't have to do this, but I like to throw the options in there. Make sure your feet are on the floor. Your hands can be on your lap. And I, I have my hands with the palms down so that I'm getting a little bit of feedback feedback through my feet and my hands to draw me into the present moment, to what I feel in my body. Can you feel your feet, the surface of the floor? And with your hands, the surface of your clothing and perhaps underneath that, the quality of your muscles, Just bringing you into your body in the moment. And then starting to notice the breath move in your body. Where do you feel movement? Is it in the chest? Is it in the belly? Is it in the sides of the ribs? Is it somewhere else? Maybe your spine. Seeking to bring ourselves into a quiet place in the mind. In yoga, there is the word vrittis. It's a Sanskrit word. And it means whirlpool. And if you feel your mind is like chattering monkeys or whirlpools spinning, observing the body and observing the breath is what brings us into that calmer place of the mind. Give yourself just another moment or two to bring yourself into that calm, observing, sensing place. The spine is tall, the head lifted, so we're in our good posture, allowing a fullness of breath. Then we can begin some movement, but stay with that sense of breath throughout the practice. Let's begin to take a breath in and lift the shoulders up and exhale and roll them back and down. Let's try that a few times. Go at your pace. But perhaps synchronizing it with breath just to stay in that moment with the sensation of shoulder blades gliding, moving up and down. Can we use our mind kindly, usefully by focusing and saying something positive as we do this simple movement? Gliding, sliding, easeful, effortless. Enjoying this simple movement. You might change the direction of the movement and circle gently the other way, but again, watching the breath flow. Like a wave, the movement and the breath combine. Hmm. Allow the shoulder blades to nestle down second. If you want to take out your block, if you have that, you can do that. Or you can leave it there, but see how it goes with the movement. We're going to start moving the arms into the gentlest beginnings of a sun salutation. This is breath and movement combined. Breathing in, let the arms lift out, palms up, chest gently rises. Breathing out, chin down, palms touch back down. Breathing in open like a flower and breathing out chin back to chest pressing down breathing in opening to the light breathing out closing back in drawing into self breathing in lifting 
Breathing out, retreating. Again, perhaps the arms widening a little more, chest lifting a little higher. And then breathing out, drawing in, starting to round the back more. Again, breathing in, lift, open, open, open. Finding all of the spine responsive. Breathing out, rounding in. Three or four more, go at your pace. Feel this wave-like motion swaying through your body. Return back into neutral. Breathing in, let the arms rise up, open out. A big bouquet of flowers you're presenting to the world. Let's try that again. Breathing in and looking up as you do that. Breathing out, spreading your wings. It's lovely to see all of those arms moving, wings going, <laughs> breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's begin our full sun salutation. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, bringing the arms into goal post cactus arms. Breathing in, reach forwards. Breathing out, slide your hands down and come into a forward fold. Breathing in, look up just the head, the chest. Breathing out, fold down. Breathing in, send your right wing out to the side, turn your head to look. Breathing out, come down. Breathing in, left arm. Breathing out, come down. Breathing in, rise all the way up, arms up. Breathing out, take the right wrist and draw it to the left. Nice side out. Breathing in, come up. And to the other side, breathing out. Oh, lovely yawning stretch. Breathing in to center. Breathing out, bring the arms into this goalpost. Arms really chest lifting a little, elbows back. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out, rotate to the right. Breathe in center. Rotate to the left. Breathe in center. Let's go one more time to the right, a little more perhaps. Breathe in center. Breathing out, rotate to the left. Breathe in center. Reach it all the way up. Climb a rope. Feel your butt lift a little out of the chair as you reach higher, the spine getting longer and taller. And release everything down. Give another roll of the shoulders. And we're going to take that through again. We'll do it a couple of times, and I hope as you get more familiar with the movement, it becomes flowing and easy with the breath. Breathing in, paint a rainbow. Open it out. Again, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. This time we're going to goalpost arms. That lovely opening of the chest. Nice deep breath in. Folding it forwards. Exhale. Draw it all the way down to the ground. Maybe you tickle your toes. Breathe in. Lift your head and chest. Breathe out. Fold down. Breathe in. Send your right wing out to the side. Looking up. Exhale. Back down. Inhale, left arm out. Exhale, back down. Inhale, reaching it all the way up, 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 up. Exhale, right wrist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Bring the arms into goal post arms. And opening the chest, feel the shoulder blades glide toward the spine. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, rotate right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. We're going to rotate again to the right. And center. And to the left. And to the center. Reach and climb the rope. Feel yourself lift out of your chair. This is not so much your shoulders lifting as the whole center of your body getting longer and stretchier. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Release it all the way down, roll your shoulders. Okay, one last round, maybe a little more fluid, a little more flowing. Breathing in, open it out. Paint the rainbow. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time, breathing in like that and opening into goalpost arms. Beautiful. Hinge a little forwards in your seat. 
Release the arms down, 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 down. Breathe in, lift your head and chest. Breathe out, fold. Breathe in, right arm out to the side, turn the head. Breathing out and down. Breathing in, left arm sweeps out. Breathing out, bring it down. Breathing in, come all the way up. Breathing out, right wrist draws to the left. Breathing in, center. And exhale, left wrist to the right. Breathing in, center. Goal post arms, nice open chest, shoulder blades to the spine. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. In the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. One more twist to the right. And center. And to the left. And center. I'm going to reach and climb that row. So really lift up your sit bone from the chair. That'll get the pelvic floor zone, that chakra, foundation chakra moving, energized. <laughs> Super, and then we're going to go a little crazy because I like to go a little crazy and it's New Year and we can still party. So shake out the arms, shake out the legs, <laughs> getting energy, energy everywhere we can. So while you're shaking out the legs, we're going to tap the legs. <laughs> Very percussive. I hope you're as percussive in your own home as I am here. And we'll put the feet down, but hammer the feet a little bit. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Steady the feet back down, rub over the knees. And let's just see if we can sense the energy now in the legs and feet and also your hands. Do you feel the buzz and tingle of life? Hmm. <laughs> so that's our nerves waking up our circulation. So we'll take the feet a little wider and we're gonna give a nice stirring of the pot. And um, if you hear creaking, it's not my joints. They're very lubricated and happy. It is my chair. <laughs> I'll stay in the other direction. Super duper. Bring it back into center. Walk the feet back gently in. We're going to take the right leg, lift and lower the right leg. And we'll wake up all the different joints before we do some standing exercises. So this is the hip joint we're hinging. And then we'll stir the thigh bone in the socket and create lots of juicy synovial fluid. We can stir in the other direction. And then like a gate, we'll just open and close. I hope you have that nice breath flowing in the background, sensing that that is always there as your helper. And then bring that leg down. We're gonna do the same on the other side. This is lovely uh, as a squish for your organs, by the way, nice little press, helping digestion. And then we'll give a stir of the ball in the socket. Shall we go the other way? Let's do it. And then we can open and close. And I think we have a nice hip joint going there. Um, also coming forward and back, that's also working the hip joint from the other direction, right? We're bringing the torso to the legs rather than the leg to the torso. Super duper. Very, very nice. Now, that's pretty good. Now, knees, that's the next uh, joint we're going to work a little bit, give them a warm up, and then we'll kick the leg just to sense that nice gliding action of your knee. Hope your knees are happy for the new year. <laughs> and then we'll do a little addition. We kick the knee and then point and flex the foot. We can do that on the other side, just kick the knee, point and flex the foot. Yeah, the calf muscles working. Lovely. And then we'll take the right leg forward and circle that in the ankle. And we can do that in the other direction. And we'll do the same on the other side. So a little circle. And in the other direction. Lovely. Let's bring that back down. Fingertips to shoulders. Just circle the arms in their socket and that again is also a ball and socket joint can you feel a lovely rolling gliding action circling the other direction and a little bit of loving for the neck so hands onto the back of the neck give a little squeeze to your neck i've got one hand on top of the other and just give a squeeze as you give a gentle nod of the head 
Mm -hmm. And then we can turn the head to the left and give a little pull across the back of the neck as you do that. And then go to the other side and I'm kind of just gliding my hands across the back of the neck. Then we can come into center, release the arms down, a little ear to the shoulder. So I've got my left ear toward the left shoulder and then put the left hand just a little bit here. Give a gentle stretch, but resist your head back into your hand. Nice deep breaths. Come back to center. We'll do the same on the other side. Try not to push, put too much pressure, but just a little press and then press your head into the hand. You can feel the muscles activate. Okay, gently bring that back into center. I think we're ready to kind of get up and do a little bit more active poses. If you wish to stay in the chair, you can also adapt to the chair. But um, I think getting up and down out of the chair is one of the best exercises we can do to en innovate all of these big leg and butt muscles. So I invite you to uh, do that uh, 10 times. <laughs> if it's too tricky, what you can do is come back and forth like this in the chair, lifting your legs off the floor. That's also another option for you. Otherwise, shall we get on with it? Let's do it. New Year's resolution. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Breathe at all times as you get up and down out of the chair. We're going to do it. Three, two, one. Let's get off. And number 10. <laughs> I like to see this. And number nine, relax shoulders. And I think this is eight. <laughs> nice, slowly getting down. It's looking fabulous. Seven. Those knees happy? Yeah. Six. And five, light as a feather. And four. And three. And two. And this last one, we'll take the arms up and hurrah, we did it. Happy New Year. We are super strong and fit and healthy. Fabulous. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come to the back of the chair and do some exercises using the chair, test our balance a little bit, do some uh, nice strong warrior poses and some nice stretches into the backs of the legs. So once you're at your chair, we'll step Take your right leg back and we're coming into a lunge pose. So in a lunge pose, um, have your back heel lifted if you can. You don't want your legs too much on a tight rope, but kind of train tracks. It'll give you a little bit more sort of comfortable foundation to balance. So we've got a nice stretch starting to happen here, a little bit at the top of the thigh. Do to where you can, nothing should hurt. That's the rule of the game, but we do want to have some sensation. Follow your breath. Where is the mind? And then if you want to take up your right arm, take up your right arm. Check that your balance is okay. If it's okay, then you can take up the left arm. Now give yourself three or four cleansing breaths as you reach fingers towards sky. Stay active in the back leg so it's alive, strong, you can always hold the chair if you feel it's a, too much of a challenge. Lovely, bring that all the way back down. Step up, pedal it out a little bit. And we're gonna do the same on the other side, yay! <laughs> so step the other leg back, there's always options. Make sure your front leg's bent about 90 degrees, something like that, and trying to track more or less over the ankle, over the toes. If you're okay now, you can lift up the left arm. Follow the breath. Do you feel steady? Maybe you just let go a little bit with the other hand. Or if you're okay, let those fingers rise too. A sense of buoyancy, liftedness, lightness through your body. At the same time, the strength, grounded, rooted. Breath. Touch down with the hands, step up, pedal out a little bit. And maybe do some little swirls, circles with the pelvis. And then the other direction. Excellent. 
So let me turn it just a little bit. Hopefully you can see what's going on nicely. So we're going to do a little variation of that one, and it's called warrior one pose. So we step the right leg back again. And all these standing poses, they're so good for building our bone health and our muscle strength, but also that mental focus. So front leg is bent at about 90 degrees. Now you might feel the stretch into the back of the calf a little bit more if your heel is to the ground. It's a little more stable, but you may feel the stretch in a different way. Options, you can hold on to the chair. Or you can begin to lift the hands away from the chair. For some of you, you might want to come into those gold, gold post or cactus arms. Feel the strengthening, opening of the chest. Or if you feel like it, you can take your arms up or take one arm up and hold the chair. Follow the breath. What are your warrior qualities? Is it your persistence, your ability to face a challenge, deal with a challenge? Is it kindness? Two more nice cleansing deep breaths. And then we can touch down and step up. How was your warrior there? Were you, were you warrior-like? <laughs> We're going to do the same thing on the other side, stepping it back. Front leg is about 90 degree bend. And you're kind of tracking your knee more or less toward the second toe if you can. Try not to let the knee roll in or roll out. And then that will serve well, the knee well. Where do you feel the stretch in the back of the leg now as you reach the heel back down? This may be plenty for you. You are definitely building strength with this asymmetrical pose but you can begin to explore, maybe not touching the chair or touching with one hand. Maybe you want to come in towards the arms into goalpost arms. Feel that chest opening. Or you take arms above head. Choose what's right for you. And then be present. Where do I feel this in the body? Can I feel that? and still watch my breath moving in and out. Can I stay clear and focused in my mind without monkey mind? And then beginning to release whatever you have with the arms, step up <laughs> and give it a little shake out one leg at a time. So congratulations, you just strengthened bones, built muscle. And as we get older, that's so, so important. And yoga has been found to increase bone density, even in people who have, are suffering from osteoporosis. Isn't that fantastic? That's amazing. So do yoga. It's great. <laughs> so we've been warrior one there. We're going to go into a warrior two now. So a little bit different within the hips arrangement. We were just in a sort of fairly facing forward position. Warrior two, we'll step the right foot back. And we're bending into the front leg as we did in warrior one. But this time we turn the belly button away from the front leg and towards the long line of, well, my mat, if you're on a mat. So now the belly is turning away from the front leg and you can kind of assist that a little bit by drawing the belly button away and maybe pressing the front thigh a little bit in the opposite direction. Now you can hold on to the chair with the front hand and take the back arm out. If you want to, extend the other arm. So you've got the nice extension through the fingertip to fingertip. And then you will turn your head to look at the front hand. Again, if you need to touch down and hold the chair, you can do that. Feel this lovely strength foundation through your legs. Can your feet feel the quality of the ground beneath you? Can you feel the energy running from fingertip to fingertip? The strength of your core as you hold your arms out in space. A little smile 
that tells you you have the power within you, your warrior power. Let's bring the front hand back to touch down the chair and the back hand to the back of the thigh, the, the back leg thigh. We're going to be peaceful warriors. That's a virtue too, being peaceful. <laughs> so we can lean a little back toward the back leg and only if you feel steady, you might then raise the front arm again and look up to the hand. If that's too much, you can just hold the chair, but look up. Perhaps you're as if you're raising a sword, but in peace. One more lovely cleansing breath. And then gently bringing that all the way back down, turning to the front of the chair, step up, give it a little shake out. Hey, we're gonna do warrior two on the other side, so I'm gonna shift the chair <laughs> so you can see. And we're gonna set the other leg back. So very much if you can, try to have a front leg. We're gonna build strength in this quadricep muscle if we have a leg about 90 degrees. Also looking after the knee, trying to keep it pretty much facing forward rather than the knee rolling in or rolling out. Anchor the back foot down to the ground. So even if we did nothing with the arms, we're honing the glute muscle in the back leg. So since your, your butt in the back leg is strong, supportive, then rather than the belly button being turned forward or to the diagonal, try to turn your belly button so you're opening out in this front hip. You can even give a little guidance and kind of drawing the belly button that way and the thigh opening that way. So this is a lovely hip opener warrior too. Then you can take the back arm out, energy through the fingers, and you can turn the head to look forward. And if you want to, Lift up the other hand so you've got this line of energy from fingertip to fingertip. So much going on. What is it that you can stay focused with in this moment? Keeping the whirlwind thoughts of the mind at bay by watching our body, watching our breath. We can use the mind positively, powerfully by reiterating words like strength, power, energy. Let's bring the front hand to the chair, slide the back hand back toward the back of the thigh. And we're kind of going, moving in towards a slight back bend, looking up. And if you want to lift the other arm up, raising your sword, but finding peace. This is peaceful warrior pose. Breath. Let's bring the arm back down, face forward, step up, <laughs> and a little shake out. So we've gone through warrior one, warrior two. There isn't, I think, like a warrior 2075 or something like that, but there is a warrior three, you can be excited to know. And it's a really nice one, quite a challenge, quite a balanced challenge, and definitely a leg strengthener. Do what you can do here. So we face forward in the chair, and a little bit. So face forward in the chair. I'm gonna bend down into the legs, reasonably significantly just to, energize the legs and strengthen the legs. Lean into your right foot and start to take your left leg back behind you. Here we are, strengthening the leg. Now, we're going to push out a little bit and wherever you can, straighten the standing leg. So a nice long line from your spine all the way out through the back heel. There's plenty going on here. <laughs> if you want more, I don't know if you want more, and if your left leg is back, extend your right arm forwards. Breathe, have fun. <laughs> do you enjoy it here? If anything hurts, please stop, don't do it, but enjoy a challenge. Super, shall we bring it back to base? <laughs> How did you get on there? <laughs> We're gonna do the other side, or you can have a cup of tea if you like. 
So I'm gonna say we get, get a little low to the ground. This is just harnessing energy to the center. Shift the weight into your left foot. You can lift the right foot from the ground and we're gonna to start to push out and stretch out a little bit. So as you push your back heel back, you can begin to straighten into the standing leg a little more. There's a lot going on. You might explore not touching the chair quite as firmly. Oh my gosh. Still breathing. And then if you want to do the opposite arm to the leg, which she says, <laughs> does the wrong one. So if you have your right leg back, your left arm will be forwards. And following the breath. And let's retreat. Touching back to the ground. Congratulations, warriors, one, two, and three. Good job. <laughs> I like that, exactly, a round of applause. So um, one of the classic yoga poses that is perfect for balance is tree pose. And so we'll do tree pose, Rikshasana. And I love tree pose in that we get to use our minds to focus on being a tree, our favorite tree. Um, I'm not going to tell you which side, whichever side is at the chair, you're gonna, Use your chair to hold you. And we'll begin warming up the hip joint because it's not just a balance pose, it's also a hip opener. So I'm going to swing the other leg that is away from the chair a little out and in. And now we get to decide where the foot is going. You can have your toes touching down as the knee folds out, or you can place your foot onto your ankle, or maybe a little higher or higher still if you want to go a little higher. Then notice how rooted your foot is to the ground. You have roots that spread all over all directions, deep, deep roots. Sense those roots, see those roots anchoring you. And as you become anchored, maybe you don't need to hold on as tight. Maybe you want to press the hands towards the heart. You decide. It's okay to wobble and sway. A tree that's strong adapts to the environment. Let your breath flow. And then what is the tree? How are your leaves? Are you an evergreen? an oak. Beauty and majesty of a tree. And we can bring that down. How did you do? Could you do it? <laughs> well, I want to try on the other side. Now, because I didn't say we've got to do it one side or another, I chose my favorite side. So <laughs> you might notice that it's not always the same on each side. So be kind, be compassionate. So shift the weight a little bit onto the other foot. And let's begin by just opening out the hip joint by swinging and swiveling onto the ball of the foot. So we're looking for this nice crease here to be spread and open. And once you have that fairly comfortably, then decide where the foot is going to go. It could remain toes to the ground, toes off the ground, or a little higher, or a little higher still. So I have to help my foot stay up <laughs> there. And if you are choosing to put your foot a little higher, you create a bind between your foot and the thigh by pressing the two together, like give them a little engagement so they help each other in support. Then you decide, do I need to hold on as tightly? Perhaps not. Less fingers. Do what's right for you. Observe your breathing. If your branches wish to unfold, you could unfold your branches. Whatever your choice, clear the mind and be with your body and your breath.
gently bring it down I love those trees there's some beautiful branches I see them <laughs> we're going to shake it out a little bit so the last of our standing poses today gosh time flies when you're having fun um, is triangle pose um, so you can use the chair as your base again and I'm going to turn out my uh well if I mirror you my right toes towards the chair the other foot is also kind of pointing a little at the diagonal about 45 degrees so I hope you can see that sort of position I've got there and this is also kind of hip opening too uh then we'll just bend into the legs a little bit and just gently move a little back and forth so what we're going to look for is a nice side bend in this pose but we'll just warm up the legs just a little bit the hip joints a little bit keep a little softness into the knees, the knees to begin with and then we'll take up the back arm and draw it all the way over and across as you begin to straighten legs a little bit more you can have the hand further down on the chair if that feels good and then maybe you're looking up toward the ceiling opening into the ribs and the chest too Yawn your ribs open. Make some space. Breathe into it. Give yourself two more lovely cleansing breaths. Come all the way back. We did it. Ta -da, ta -da. I'm going to skip to my loo and shift my chair the other way. Okay. So the feet don't have to be super wide here just the stance that you feel is comfortable but i'm going to turn out the front toes toward the chair turn the back foot about 45 degrees and then bend a little and just play moving your weight back and forth and we're kind of finding the center doing this like i don't want too much weight on the back i don't want too much weight on the front but i want to find my center lovely and then with a little bend to the knees scoop it over lean over into the side bend as you begin to straighten through the legs a little bit more if you want to look to the ceiling you can do that where do you feel your breath where do you feel there's a sense of opening coming in the body two more cleansing breaths Ignite the feet a little, push the ground, come all the way back up. We did it. We're going to come to the front of the chair, last standing pose, downward dog. Wow, lovely. <laughs> What's that look like? Walk the legs back. Give a nice stretch to your spine. If you can, keep your ears more or less in line with your arms. If you need a little bend into the legs, you can take that. Otherwise, feel the stretch into the back of the knees. Yawn the back of the knees open. And breathe. Look forward. Walk your feet forwards. Let's lift up the heels, just lift up the chest. And sink the heels softly back down to the ground. Yeah, we did all of these bone building poses, very energizing, but it's time to come sit back down in your chair. Yeah. <laughs> Deep breath. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, the time just runs away. I'd like to be here for much longer. <laughs> so we have to just loosen down into the shoulders a little bit, take a few restful breaths. So um, fingers together, interlace, push the palms out forwards, round your back in a little bit here. Mm, nice stretch to the shoulders. Take a breath in, let the palms rise to the ceiling looking up. Release the arms all the way back down. Ah, let's scoop the right 
uh, arm across the body, catch it at the shoulder, turn your head to look in that direction, pull in a little bit with the arm. Take a nice breath here. Exhale, sign it out. Ah. Let that go. We'll do the same on the other side. <laughs> so stretching it across the body, pull in, turn the head to look over the shoulder. Well, if we bring everything back to center, nice roll of the shoulders one more time. And I hope there aren't too many crackles, crunches. <laughs> and then we'll take the legs wider and just do one of those nice big scoopy circles. Let your spine flow. If your shoulders want to move, let your shoulders move. Let anything go. The movement is a little less linear and change the direction. Super, bringing it all the way back in towards center. And I'm going to take the blanket <clears throat> and put the blanket, or you have your towel, and put that underneath the feet. Again, if you want to have the block behind you, you can do that too, if that helps, but not necessary. It's just if it helps you sit up and gives you a little support. So this gives me a little bit more lift and a bit more comfort under the feet. So you can choose whether you have your hands down, palms down, or your palms up. See what feels comfortable for you. And we'll just take a moment to see if the whirlpool of the mind, the vrittis, are whizzing around, or if the mind can stay focused and calm on the breath, the body, the moment. Observing breath at the nostrils, the temperature of the breath at the nostrils. Observing the movement of ribs. Observing the movement of belly. And whatever arises for where you sense your breath or the sensations of the body. Yoga is now. And as you're just enjoying this moment of being, I'll close with a lovely poem by Dana Folds. She's a yoga poet. Do yoga with no goal but to be in the moment. This breath, this stretch, this wave of emotion rolling in. Watch it crest and break, then dissipate. Hold the body like a lover in a close embrace, listening with intimacy, touching with tenderness. Yoga is a threshold into mystery, each pose an open doorway and an invitation to unfold. Sensations rise and fall, and through it all, the deathless center radiates the simple truth of union. And yoga is union, that's what it is, to unite your body, your breath, your mind in this moment. So I hope that you have enjoyed some of the yoga poses today, strengthening, stretching, increasing your flexibility, and I hope your concentration. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with it. Good job today. Thank and you. I'll bring the hands to the heart and say the magic word, namaste. Um, enjoy yourselves, January 2023 and beyond in a healthy and happy body, spirit and mind. <laughs>